Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 55 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to do an introduction on the XY coordinate system. So I like to think of the XY coordinate system as just a combination of two number lines. So let's just go ahead and just draw a couple number lines here. So this one we're just going to name X and then this number line we're just going to name Y. And both of these have the number 0 in the middle. And then we'll put the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on both of these number lines. And then we'll also do negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5 on both of these number lines as well. So there's nothing really fancy here. We just have two basic number lines. One of them we've named x and the other one we've named y. So when we want to make an xy coordinate system, we basically just kind of leave the x number line just how it is and then what we do is we take the y number line and we just kind of flip it 90 degrees and when we do that we make sure that this zero element on the y number line lines up right over top of the zero element on the x number line. So let me go ahead and just draw that so you can see what I mean. So this is just the x number line once again and then right here this is just going to be the zero position on the x number line and then we're just going to flip the y number line 90 degrees and place it over top of the x number line. And so here now we have the y number line. And it's just kind of going over top. And so now the y number line is vertical. And so the zero element on both the x and the y number line is right here. And so where both x and y equal zero, we call that the origin. So basically we just have one, two, three, four, and five on the x negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5 on the x as well. And then the y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so positive goes that way. And then as we go down, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5 on the y. So when we have an xy coordinate system, instead of calling these number lines we kind of just change the name we just say that these are now the y-axis and the x-axis but really just the uh, the y and the x-axis are really just number lines so the combination of the x and y-axis allows us to plot points and draw graphs and uh, things like that in basically a two-dimensional space so we can kind of treat this now as like a piece of paper Whereas before, if we're just dealing with a number line, we can just kind of plot points or maybe like line segments on these type of things, just kind of in one direction. But when we have stuff like this, we can kind of give it a little bit of a dimension. So for instance, you know, we could plot something like this on our XY um, coordinate system. Whereas if we're just using an X or a Y number line, we have no way to just make a squiggly shape like this. So basically, Let's just kind of go ahead and do an introduction in what it takes to plot a point in this xy coordinate system. So first let's look at this x number line here and let's just kind of look at the value x is equal to 5. Well let's, let's do x equals 4, how about that? So we're just going to do x equals 4 and we're going to start at 0 and go over 1, 2, 3, and 4. So x equals 4 can be represented as this point right here on the x number line. So let's look at the y number line now, and we'll have the y number line represent y is equal to negative 2. So we start at 0, and we go over negative 1 and negative 2 on the y number line. So this right here would be y is equal to negative 2. So basically when we're dealing with a number line, then we simply just need one value to denote a point. But when we're dealing with the xy coordinate system, we basically need two values. We need an x and a y component to basically plot a point on the xy coordinate system. So let's just kind of go ahead, let's just, let's write the word point here. So we're going to put a point on the xy coordinate system. And a point we also like to call an ordered pair when uh, we're dealing with a point on the xy coordinate system. It's an ordered pair. And basically an ordered pair is basically a, it's a pair of an x component and a y component. So an x component and a y component paired together is an ordered pair, which is just a point on the xy coordinate system.
So it looks kind of like this. We just have some x component and some y component. And the x component always comes first and the y component always comes second by convention. So if we were to basically just, let's kind of use these values right here to demonstrate what a point would look like with an x coordinate of four and a y coordinate of negative two on this xy coordinate system. So for x here, we said x equals four up here, so let's just go ahead and use that same number. <clears throat> So we're going to put 4 here for the x component. And then y was negative 2 on this number line here. So we'll just go ahead and use that one as well. So y is negative 2. So now basically, let's just go ahead and uh, kind of plot each of these uh, components as if we were just looking at the single number lines. So x is 4. So we start at 0. And then on the x number line or the x axis, we just go over 1, 2, 3, four units, so that would be the x component of this point or this ordered pair here. And then we have y is negative two. So here's the y axis or the y number line. So we start at zero and we go negative one, negative two. So this is the y component of this um, ordered pair now. And so when we want to represent the entire ordered pair or basically the point that this represents, we simply just look at the projections of these two components. So by projection, I mean we're just going to project a dotted line, basically. Um, this is just to help us figure out where this point exists. So I'm just going to draw a dotted line that's perpendicular to the y-axis off of this y component, and then a dotted line that's perpendicular to the x-axis off of the x component. And so where these two um, projections cross is going to be our ordered pair for negative two. So basically that was an introduction to the xy coordinate system. It's just basically a combination of two number lines kind of put in uh, this format where the x number line or the x axis is uh, just horizontal and the y number line or the y axis is vertical. And uh, so the x and the y axis are going to be perpendicular to each other. And uh, they cr where they cross is the point zero for both the x and the y. And if we're comparing the xy coordinate system to number lines, basically we just need to remember that on a number line we can plot a single point by giving it one value, one value on the y or one value on the x depending on which number line we're on. But when we're dealing with the xy coordinate system, in order to plot a point we need two values. We need the x and the y component to plot a point on the xy coordinate system. So anyway, that was an introduction to the XY coordinate system. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And uh, you guys have an excellent day. We'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.